Hello Gemini and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your weekly reading for the week of April 8th through April 14th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled but as always I will shuffle live. During meditation spirit showed me flip-flops on a beach like on sand. Um, the energy that came through was that of contemplation. Um, not necessarily good, not necessarily bad, but it felt, it felt like the, it was somebody who needed a rest and I felt like they were just allowing their souls to be at ease. That was the energy that came through. These sandals, are very easily removable. And of course, sand can be, um, it, it could be very tricky. <laughs> it can get in places that it certainly doesn't need uh, to be. But what I got in connection with the two is the fact that even though some things can be a little tricky, there's comfort there at the same time. I'm not sure what that means. I don't even know how it's going to correlate. I never know how it's gonna correlate with the reading, but we will soon find out, my dear Gemini. We will soon find out. I want this one. Resilience. May your soul weather the storms. And that's pretty much the feeling that the, the sand was giving me, like the, the breath that I felt, the energy that was coming. It was somebody that was just kind of exhaling. And I feel like that's what's happening here in this resilience card is somebody exhaling it's like you are trying to regenerate, like regenerate your spirit. That's what I was getting. With this card, I'm also getting some haziness. It's like It's like you are, this is where you, this is where you came from. This is where you are and you want to be out here somewhere. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. You want to be somewhere where it's clear. I feel like this is a lot of work just just uncomfortable and not necessarily bad, but I, it's, you know how like when you come back from vacation and, and you revived and then after like a month and you're like, okay, I need another vacation already. It, it, like everybody else's burdens are on top of you. I, I feel like that's what this is, hap this is happening. And then you get all all fuzzy in the mind. And what you want to really do is just breathe. That's what I'm seeing here. That's the energy that's come. Oh, okay. The hermit. Yeah, told you. Taking your time, okay? Taking your time. Looking inward. Trying to find your peace. With the Five of Pentacles here, I'm seeing Mm -hmm. 
This is what I'm seeing here. This is what I'm seeing here. And really, you just want to be up here. I told you, you want to be out here. <laughs> it's like it. It's like this is how you're feeling. You're just feeling tired. And you're feeling drained. And you want to escape. You, you want to feel this joy. I told you. Didn't I tell you the yellow? This is how you want to feel. That's how you want to feel. You're not wanting to be here. You don't want to be here or here. You want to be here. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. You want to be up here. You want to be up here. The yellow. Look at the yellow. That's where. That's what you're looking forward to. You're wanting additional. You're you're wanting something more than what you have. You're wanting some sort of peace. And look at the contemplation. Look. Oh, okay. What is happening? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. And oh, okay. Oh, we get three cards. Okay. Three of Wands again. Oh, okay. I'm loving this. Gemini. I feel like after. Whoa. I want to get a clarifier here. I feel like you're going to meet somebody. Nothing here says it. It's the energy that's coming through. I'm going to, I'm just going to be clear. I feel like there, there's, there's an energy of, of, of excitement coming through, even though you can't see what, what this um, red tail hawk is looking at. I'm getting, look, Double three of wands. With this ace of pentacles, there's a new beginning. With the hanging man in reverse, I'm getting a full energy. And I feel like you're, you're so tired of contemplating and so tired. And I feel like this has come up for you before. Um, I feel like you've, you've been in this contemplation mood. For quite some time and I like look look at all this contemplation like you're exhausted of so much contemplation you're just looking and wondering should I move should I do this should I do that whatever that whatever that should I feel like you're saying you know what F it I'm ready for something new and look I feel like it's a decision you make I don't feel like it's something that happens to you I feel like it's a decision you make. It's very clear here. It's a decision you make because I feel like this buck is you. That's what I'm seeing. And then with this hanging man, I, I'm getting the sense of the fool here. And it's just like, I'm just going for it. Look at all the joys. Like, phew, I just want to, I just want to be happy. And look, he's even looking at this, at the shininess. Look, pentacle. It's not a pentacle. It's a star. But look at the pentacle. Looks like a star. Look at the pentacle. Do you know what I'm saying? He's even looking at male, female. It, it's not a gender specific reading. All right, guys. I feel like you're just going to take a leap. And then with this three of wands, I, I do, I feel like you're taking a leap because you want something new. You want a new journey. You want a new adventure. I feel like you've already accomplished or you feel like you've already accomplished a lot. And there's the hangman again in reverse. Very delighted. I'm telling you, I get, I do, I get like a, you know, it's funny here. I'm not getting uh, a fool, although it kind of does. But what I'm really seeing here, oddly enough, is a higher fence. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, I've already thought enough. Now I'm going to go do things my way.
because I feel like you are okay. That's all of that. Just cool. All right. Well, let's see what uh, spirit has to say here. <laughs> Judgment, the devil. <laughs> oh boy. Five of wands, eight of coins, and the empress. This person is coming into your life. I have a feeling that this person's coming into your life. We have the five of wands. Um, I feel like you're ready for play. I feel like you are, in this particular card, they're working, right? And typically, yes, the five of wands can be about struggles and it can be about all of that, 100%. I feel like you're tired of struggling. Look at the five, 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 you want a change. Five is change. You're tired of feeling like this. You're tired of feeling that, like this. I feel like you're wanting something new and you're ready to play. You're done with this feeling. But I feel with this eight of coins, you have been so focused. Look at, look at, I told you, look at your focus. You're focused on the one thing, the pentacle, right? I told you, you're focused on the one thing. But I feel like now you know how to make that puzzle piece fit. You know how to get out of a situation or make the situation work for you. That's what I'm seeing here with this particular eight of coins. You're making, you're, you're making things fit. And guess what? It's going to work out for you. You're going to free yourself of this devil. You're going to stop being in your mind and you're going to find the balance. You're going to find this peace. Things are going to work out in your favor. And then this, I think this, this is your missing link. This impress. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, spirit. Look at all the, do you see it? One, 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 one. Told you. I didn't even see that before. I just energetically was drawn to this and I knew it belonged with that one. This is your missing person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be something that brings abundance to your life. Let's say um, if the six of cups were here, then I would say, you know, it could be something that brings you um like back to your youthful energy, but I, I with this, I did say with this five of wands, you want to play. And I feel like you want to get back into your energy, this youthful energy that you naturally have. But you have been in such a work, 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 work energy that you have not been able to get to this. That's what I'm seeing here for you guys. All right, I will get a card for this one in just a moment. Thirty-eight. Dream the world into being. <laughs> okay. Remember I said that, oh, that's interesting. Remember I said about the flip-flops and the sand, how some things can be a little uncomfortable, but it, overall it's comfort. I feel like everything that you've gone through is a bit uncomfortable, but I feel like once you've gone through that, you're going to find that clarity. And I feel like once... You find that clarity. Look at all look at all the clear. Look at all the clear. I feel like that's when you decide I know exactly what it is I want. I'm actually gonna do it and I'm moving forward. And I know that this is not an eye, but it looks like an eye, doesn't it? It's like 
you have, you're looking this way, but intuitively you're looking this way. Do you see what I'm saying? You're focused over here, but your intuition, your gut is telling you look that way. Look inward, look inward. Don't look outward, look inward. It's going in, look inward. I know it's not an eye guys, I get that. But I'm, look, doesn't that look like an owl? I just now noticed that with its third eye up there. I'm telling you, I feel like, I feel like that's what's happening for you guys. You're coming into the recognition that you need to stop pleasing other people because I feel like not necessarily that you are a people pleaser, but I feel like you're somebody that likes to remain, keep, you know, keep things peaceful just for everybody. It allows the day to go smoother, but it's weighing heavy on you now. And you need to look inward. And maybe that's why you're on the beach with your flip-flops, looking inward. Sitting there thinking, what do I want? Exhaling. What do I want? Look at, look at the falcon. It's looking at, or hawk, oh, sorry, it's a hawk. Look at the hawk, looking out, breathing, exhaling. What do I want? And after much thinking, you go, I know what I want. Oosh, and you're ready. And I, I really do feel like you've been in this contemplation mode for quite some time. I want to, I want to card for this empress. Told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> when you least expected, this person's coming into your life. I am telling you, this is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> the moment I saw it. I felt the connection to it. Nothing, nothing here tells me that this card belongs here. But the energy that I feel drew me direct. It just, it made sense. It just made sense. Look at the club. Look at. Oh, I love this. Oh, you know what? I saw the Roman numeral three and then Roman numeral three. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Wow. I don't, uh, okay, spirit. I'll do this one too. Okay, that was fast. Magical gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown Yet, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Told you. It, I mean, seriously, it does not get any better than this. I told you, you don't want to be back here. You don't want to be here. You want to be out there. I told you. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. You wanted to be out there. I said it from this very first card. Here we are at the end. Same message. <laughs> I love it. Oh, final message? Okay. Final message for you. Okay. Transmute. This came out for Aquarius. Transmute. And there's that third eye yet again. Remember I told you that I was getting a third eye feeling, your intuition down here. I, I know that's I know that's not where the third eye is, guys. I'm aware. Third eye is up here. I'm aware. But Remember I said with the owl, with the third eye? I know it's not an owl, but look at it. Does it not look like an owl? With the third eye all lit up. And I said that that felt like your gut instincts, right? Your intuition. That's what the third eye is. Sorry, it's upside down. 
That's what the third eye is, intuition. Follow your intuition. Where is that judgment? Make this into a reality. Make this into a reality. There is a way, there is a way, maybe this person is going to help you see something that you can't see. But once you choose that you want to move forward, that's when things start aligning up for you. And then once you start seeing clearly, you're able to be able to work, but not struggle. You're able to go inward. and also enjoy the pleasures that the world wants to give you, that the universe wants to give you. There is a way, I don't know what that is for you. I'm not in your situation. There is a way for you to break out of something and find some sort of balance. Don't judge yourself too harshly. If you feel like you have to cut this out to get this, get it done, okay? Let's say this isn't a person. Maybe this is just freedom. Maybe this is working on something different that allows you a different sense of freedom. We have freedom twice. To me, these are freedom cards. Yes, it is adventure. But adventure gives you a sense of freedom, a sense of joy, right? With all this yellow, a sense of joy that you have been longing for. You've been focused on a lot of money, work, money. You've been missing out on this. It's time to get to it. I mean, they're telling you twice. By the way, three to me is a um, about uh, connecting the heart, mind, and spirit, right? Bo mind, body, and soul. We have the three twice you need a change we have five twice we have love we have the hangman in reverse twice stop thinking start doing I told you you're looking to do something else that came up twice you guys look actually stop yeah stop thinking where's the other one New beginning. Make the puzzles fit. Dream the world into being. You can't just think about flying off. You gotta go do. That's what I have for you, my darling Gemini. Good luck. May you dare to dream the world and to be whatever it is you're wanting. Dare it. Bye.